Hey everybody, it's me, and I am in pregnancy week 29, and I haven't done one since my, since I was a day before, for two weeks, a couple weeks, or two and a half weeks, so I'm sorry about that, but, um, I have been busy, and, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like making videos. Yeah, so anyway, um, let me see, I have, oops, just a second, text message, um, yeah, so anyway, I have some updates for you. Um, let me see, I'll start with the deployment stuff. Um, Travis has been gone for over a month now. Can you believe that? I mean, doesn't it seem like I was just posting a video telling you all he was leaving? Yeah, but he's been gone over a month now already. And it's amazing. Time has flown by so fast, and I hope it just keeps flying by. Yeah, so um, I just talked to him today, actually, and he's doing really well. And, um, yeah, things are things are going good. Um I'm just, I just keep praying every day that he stays safe and, you know, um, that he comes home to me, which I'm sure he will. And believe it or not, he'll be home in two and a half months. That's not very long. That's like ten weeks away. He's supposed to come home like March 17th, which is actually my due date, but that's when he had to take his leave, so hopefully I won't have the baby before then. <laughs> yeah, so, um, he'll be home in two and a half months, and I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Um... And I had somebody, like, I asked somebody about deployment. I was like, um, does it get easier, you know? And they're like, no, it doesn't get easier, you know? But you get used to it. And I guess I have to disagree with that. It has gotten, like, tons easier for me. I mean, I have my moments when I miss him dearly and, you know, I, I just want to lay in bed all day. I mean, I think that's normal. But it is not nearly as bad as it was. Like, when he first left, like, the first week, I was, like, a total mess. Um, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I wanted to be by myself. Um, I, I, was, I was just depressed. It was bad. It was really, really bad. But, like, now, like, I'm pretty happy, and um, I know I have a lot to look forward to, and this is just, like, it's just a speed bump in our life. It's one year out of the, you know, 80 more years we have together, <laughs> hopefully. So, um, yeah, he's doing really well, and I can't wait for him to come home, and I have a really good friend named Lisa who told me, she's like, you need to think about it in chunks, so that's what I do, like, um, this first three months is the first chunk until he comes, first chunk of time, and then he'll be home, and then I have nine more, or I have three more chunks after that, three more three-month chunks, <laughs> I know it's kind of like kind of a crazy way to think about it, but you gotta, you gotta do something, so, and those three chunks, I will have a baby, so I'm sure that Leo will make things go by really quickly. So anyway, that's the deployment update. Um, on to the baby. And he is doing so good. He's getting so big. Oh my goodness. Um, my last ultrasound, he was breech. And he did flip around. I know he did because the way I can tell is he gets the hiccups like three or four times a day. And when he was breech, um, I would feel the hiccups up higher towards my ribs because that's where his head was. And then um, he did this really weird move thing <laughs> one night, like a couple weeks ago, and then after that I started feeling the hiccups down by my cervix. So I figured he'd moved. And then last night he did this really weird move thing again. My whole belly was like, and <laughs> he um, turned breach again. So I'm praying that he will turn back before the delivery day because I don't think I would even attempt to deliver a breech baby and yeah I know that you can or whatever you know but yeah no thank you I'd rather rather do it um, head first or have a c-section or something you know I'm not gonna deliver a breech baby so anyway yeah just uh, hope I'm hoping that he'll turn around um, but he's doing really good like I said he gets the hiccups like three or four times a day and they'll be like two seconds apart and he'll have them for like half an hour. I feel, I feel like so bad for the little guy because when I get the hiccups, I hate it. You know, it's uncomfortable and, you know, I hate it. And so, yeah, that must suck. But there's nothing I can do. Um, I try to like not drink soda at all and still. And, and it seems to happen like when I first wake up and then after I eat lunch and then sometimes after dinner and then usually like before I go to bed, like when I lay down to go to bed. So... Yeah. So anyway, he's doing, the baby is doing great. Um, I have actually, like, the past week or so, I've had, like, this started off, like, six or seven days ago. 
I started getting this pelvic pain. I was just sitting in bed and I started getting this pelvic pain. And I thought, oh, I must have pulled a muscle because that's what it felt like. And it has gotten so much worse. It feels like somebody kicked me in the pelvis. And the pain has like gotten so bad that it's shooting across my hips and like down my thighs. And I had a doctor's appointment a few days ago. And I asked her and she said, oh my goodness, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, I think it's called SPD. I don't know what it stands for. Something pelvic, this door or something. I don't. I don't remember what it stands for. But what it happens? It's it's when um, the pregnancy hormone or the hormones produced when you're pregnant called relaxin, and what it does is it relaxes the the muscles um, in your uterus, and so your bones and your cartilage, like your cartilage, starts breaking apart in your pelvic in your pelvic area. And so that's what's happening is my pelvis is starting to spread apart, and it hurts really really bad. And um, when I had my appointment a couple of days ago, it wasn't as bad as it is now. So I'm, I'm calling my doctor on Monday to see if I can get a some sort of pelvic girdle or something to help alleviate some of the some of the pain because it hurts. It hurts to walk and it hurts to sit down or stand up. And like the most comfortable position for me is to sit with my legs crossed, like on the floor. Like <laughs> it's horrible. It, it hurts really bad. And I didn't. I'd never heard of that. I mean, I've heard of people waddling, but I didn't know. I didn't think it had anything to do with them being in pain. And I told my doctor, I was like, I am not far enough along or big enough to be waddling yet. So, you know, <laughs> this this is kind of embarrassing. I was like, is there anything I can do to make it stop? And she said, yeah, you have to have the baby for it to go away. So I have like 10 more weeks left and I'll be able to have the baby. And hopefully it'll go away because it, it's a pain in the butt. It really hurts. Yeah, but besides that, I'm doing good. Um, good news, I gained 5 pounds, thank God. I'm still under my pre-pregnancy weight, but I've gained 5 pounds in the last 4 and a half weeks. So, that is really good. Um, I knew I would when I got home because I knew I'd be eating more. Um, so, yeah, that's good. And um, I have another 10 pounds to go before I'm at my pre-pregnancy weight. So I'm hoping, let me see, I have 10, 10 more weeks, almost 10 more weeks. So, um... If I gained a pound a week, maybe I'll be at my pre-pregnancy weight by the time I have the baby. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, anyway, oh, I have a, uh, I mentioned it in my last video, I have my, um, my 40 ultrasound on Monday. I'm so excited. I can't wait. My mother-in-law is going to take me. I can't wait to see what his little face looks like. Oh my goodness. It's going to be great. My husband's excited about it. I was just talking to him about it today, and he can't wait to get the DVD. I'm going to see if I can get two DVDs burned so I can send him one. So, yeah, I'm totally excited about that. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, life has been pretty busy. I've been... And I've had a couple days where I just stayed home, but I've been, like, hanging out with friends and family a lot. So it's been, like, nice to be home. And believe it or not, I actually miss Germany. I mean, it was so... Our life was so quiet there, <laughs> and all my stuff is there, you know, my furniture and my kitchen and my bedroom, you know, and I still kind of feel like I'm just a visitor here. So, yeah, but everything is going well. Thank you for watching my video, and I promise that I will update um, next week. And I will also post the 3D, I'll try to post the DVD if I can get it ripped onto the computer, but I will definitely, if I can't do that, I will definitely post a lot of pictures from the 3D Ultrasound on Monday. So look for that Monday or Tuesday. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Bye.